guys. Um, today I'm going to share with you a package that I've put together. It is going to be another craft kit. And this time I am using, let me grab the paper pack here. I'm using the Parisian Lane paper pack. So you're going to see a lot of these um, pages. And then I've also added um, some complimentary colors too. So I'll just start with what's on um, my desk here. This is going to be the ribbon that I'm going to include in it. And again, I didn't measure. I just kind of threw some stuff together. Um, I've got some sheer ribbon here. It's a light pink. And then I've got some raffia here. Um, this is more of a junk journal kit than like a craft kit. Um, that was my goal when I was putting this together is that if you guys have, you know, a three ring binder or you have an old book that you want to tear apart and you want to make into a junk journal. So we got some raffia here. I've got, this is all wound up, but it's probably, I don't know, one, two, it's probably at least three lengths. So... Um, that's just a twine, a gold twine, maybe for some of those um, tags that you're going to see in a minute. And then this is just some crepe paper. It's just white crepe paper. You guys can do whatever you'd like with this. Line pages, uh, make rosettes, make other embellishments, whatever you can think of to do with this stuff. And then I've got a whole handful of tags here. This is, you know, a an already made tag and then I cut some tags out of the paper pack. I thought that was a bug for a minute. I was like, oh my gosh, there's a dead bug. It's not, it's a leaf. So this is just um, some tags. And then I've got just a whole Mod Podge of stuff over here. So I'm just gonna start pulling stuff, guys. I've got some of these little um, cardstock samplers. These are really cute to put in tuck spots or to use as a backing for words, things like that. Um, some Project Life cards that are double-sided. I thought these were pretty cute. They all have the, the, um, the right colors for this kit. So I've got some just thin, small uh, pieces of lined paper, two different um, like cardstock, they look like craft paper, two pieces of that. I've got two of these invoices. I love putting these in junk journals. These are like my favorite to put in junk journals. It gives the person a lot of room to, you know, write ideas or tell about, you know, a picture, put a picture on here and then write underneath it. I've got all of these different color pieces of paper. These are on the thinner side, which I love those too. I've got you a large manila envelope, two of the letter size envelopes for tuck spots. I've got five pieces of this real heavyweight uh, lined paper. I've got some just scraps that I've already cut out from this uh, paper pad. Just include those so you can decorate your pages. Some scraps from coordinating colors. Some of these little tags that I cut out from the paper pad. I've got a large doily for you a medium sized doily and again I just have some um, just paper scraps from the collection these are cut aparts that came with the collection so I've cut these out for you I really like this collection because of all the different colors in it. It's got the mint greens and the um, yellows and the flower and the pinks and the gold. Love the gold. So I really like this collection a lot. Oh, and then I forgot I got a long one right here. 
And then I have these larger cutouts from the collection also. We've got the Eiffel Tower and some gold, some gold foil here. This is probably pretty accurate. I've never been to Paris, but I'm assuming people are like, wow, the food. So. I've got some larger papers here. These are probably going to be folded in half when they come, um, but they are still gorgeous. Or you could just cut out the center here whatever you can do with that. This is another one of my favorites. These are 12 by 12 sheets. And again, they came from the collection. I've got um, just two large pieces of, uh, it's called marker paper. Um, so it's like a little bit thicker. I've got a sheet of really heavy watercolor paper. I love including this in junk journals in case anybody wants to do any kind of watercolor. You've got some nice heavy paper for that. Here are some stickers that I'm just including. They're just some random stickers that I think go very well with this collection. Um, this is self-adhesive rhinestone. These are individual enamel dots. These are strips of dots, or strips of pearls. These are just some vellum picture frames. I really like these. I think this goes amazing with the collection. These are really pretty. And then just a couple random stickers that go with the collection. I gave you a sheet of colorful numbers and letters so you can write out what you need. This is a um, shipping label sticker sheet. So I gave you a full sticker sheet. There's two you know, um, shipping labels on here. You can color your own stickers or do whatever you want with that. This is glitter sticker paper. So this is also a sticky backing. Goes real nice. I went ahead and gave you this because I love the wood look. So this is just the back of um, an ephemera pack, I believe. Oh, actually, you know what? It's the back of the tags. See right there? But I went ahead and gave it to you because it's got this beautiful wood look to it. I'm sure you guys can do something with that. I've got some six by six cardstock and paper here that also goes with the collection browns, um, pinks, greens, blues. These all go so well together. Some of them are this thinner paper. Some of them are actually thicker cardstock, um, but these are awesome. These have some gold foil on them. And then I've got just some eight and a half by 11. I've got computer paper. There's uh, what five pages of that. I've got some colored cardstock for you, some pretty heavyweight cardstock. A couple colors of that. I've got these bordered pieces of paper. These are real thin, but I really like using these in junk journals. And then I've got two glossy pieces of photo paper here. So if anybody's interested in doing any alcohol inks, that is perfect for that. And then these are just some cut aparts from the collection. So this is beautiful paper. And these are a heavier, they're not quite cardstock, but these are a heavier um, paper. And then I've got some paint samples here. So that wraps up the collection. I absolutely love it. I'm going to call it my um, Parisian, let me check again. Parisian Lane Junk Journal Collection is what I'm going to call this. So I am going to list it on my eBay site. Okay, so this package is going to be $20. The shipping is going to be in a padded flat rate envelope. So that is going to cost $7.55. So it's going to be a total of $27.55. This is a lot of stuff for $27.55. Um, the reason I'm sending it in the padded flat rate envelope is because the weight of this would make this very expensive. <laughs> this is probably 
this is probably two pounds worth of worth of stuff. Um, so that would definitely make this expensive to ship, which is why I'm going to ship it in the flat rate envelope. So I will put my eBay link down in the description box below. If you'd like to pick up this kit, then go ahead and click on it now. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.